sorry, Claire can't say I didn't warn you. So you answer a few questions and you think you're better than me. Did I say that? Sounds like someone's a little insecure. So we are back with the next part of All I Want for Christmas. In the last one, our rock star ex, who's now in town, his little miss ho 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 showed up unexpected and she's trying to cause drama and make a scene and do all this stuff. But you know what? It's okay. Because our girl, our sweet girl Holly, is having a moment again with Noel, his little ex. And, you know, they're about to have a little extra moment. Who knows where those lips are about to end up because that is the cliffhanger we got in the last chapter. So let's see if we can snatch him back from Mrs. Grinch and have a good rest of our holiday season. So without further ado, let's start the drama. Chapter 4, Jingle Bells, Claire Smells. Feel that's very fitting. Okay, and they are inches apart right now. Oh. And she comes barging in, ruining the chapter already. Hello. Noel, come with you. Or with, yes, come with us. Come with me. We were in the middle of something. Not anymore. Girl, you ain't nothing, sure, Claire. Ugh, wanna know what's worse than having a famous ex? His ugly girlfriend who starts dating again. I remember my first reaction to his new relationship was, really, that crappy actress? Yeah, that's a lie. It went a little more like, he's already moved on. Of course he's moved on. It'd been about three years since we ended. Did I really expect him to pine over me for the rest of his life? But when you break up with someone, you assume you'll be the one that starts dating first. I mean, true, that's what everyone thinks. And if you're not, when you're still mourning the dead relationship and they've got a new body to hold, not the best feeling to say the least. Poor thing. I don't like that woman. I don't like this party. I want to go home. Give it a chance, Claire. I let you drag me to parties all the time. I take you to Kardashian parties. Now Mountain Man get-togethers. I'd rather go to the Mountain Man get-togethers, please. It's a Littleton party. You can't come to Littleton and not go to a Littleton party. Well, you know what, Claire? Why don't you go home? No one wants you here. I know these people at this party don't like her. All right, guys, who's ready for a drinking game? Me, to be honest. Miranda, I just can't get over what your husband is wearing. Just be glad the matching one doesn't fit over the bump. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we actually have a famous blast from the past here tonight. So in honor of Noel's homecoming, we're going to play his favorite drinking game. No way. Who knows him best? Yep. If you want to play, raise your hand. Honey and play. Derek will draw three names and the first name will be the spotlight person. The other two names will be the guessers. What do they guess? Derek makes up random questions about the spotlight player. If you get a guess wrong or the other person guesses before you, you drink. Essentially, you need to know more about the spotlight person than your opponent. I see where this is going. I already see where this is going. But I don't know anyone. Should I even play? If you want to, you'll probably end up drunker than everyone else if you do. I can live with that. We're in. Three, four, five. You're not playing halls? I don't really want to. Okay then, Grinch. You used to love this game, Holly. I used to love a lot of things. Now, ooh, missing one there. Well, you have to get over it. Oh, okay. You know what? You f Sure, sure. I don't want to be the only one out, so I'm in. She's in. Good. Players grab a drink and head to the living room. All right. We're going to win. Try us. Try us, Claire. The first person in the spotlight is Noel Evans. What's he trying to pull? He gave a little wink. Oh, all right. Noel, I need you to fill out the answers to these questions. Pause. Get my name out of that hat. Already on it. Oh dear. Okay, so you should keep your name in. And why would I want to do that? Null trivia, you'd crush your opponent. That's what I'm afraid of. Have you even given him a chance since he's since he's back? That's between me and him. That's up between us. It's none of your business. That's exactly right. It's none of your business. My bad. Yeah, you sit sit down. <laughs> Done and done. Who's the greatest best friend in the world? Well, I'm still at a party and my ex and his girlfriend, so not you. Here's the paper, your highness. No, will you do the honors? Guess sir number one is Claire. Oh, yay. I'll write it now for her opponent. 
Can you imagine if your name was still in there and you got chosen? I would destroy my opponent. I would destroy... Okay, we got that. No one stands a chance. Wait, Miranda, this says... Holly. Jovi. Morant girl. Whoopsie. Pregnancy brain. Well, this just got a lot more interesting. Kevin, you were really trying to get in on this drama. The ex and the new girlfriend. Seems like trouble for you, dude. Holly, if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Let's just start the stupid thing. We're going to go up there. We're going to show Miss Claire our knowledge. Are you sure you want to do that, Claire? Are you sure? <laughs> Sweetie, excuse me. I wouldn't want to embarrass you. I think we both know who's winning this game. I'm going to assume that you think it's going to be you. Oh, she's really testing us. Sweetheart, we both know that I'm a better girlfriend to Noel than you ever were. Really? Because he was dreading you being here. His mom hates you. And he wants to spend time with us. Okay. I'm going to crush you, so I'm just trying to save you the humiliation. Do yourself a favor and just, girl, you humiliated yourself when you walked in with that outfit. Be beat her. The only person being humiliated tonight will be you, Claire. That's my bestie. You show her just who she's messing with. You already know. Ooh, loving the rivalry. Let's get started then. Guessers, grab your drinks. What's Noel's favorite color? Watch this coffee girl. Black. Nope. <laughs> Green. Correct. Oh. What's his favorite movie? Are we are we sweating now? Sweaty? Do you know, Claire? No, you don't. You are not that kind of girl. I'm not even surprised that she knows nothing about him. Am, am I in it? No. Die hard. Right again. Really? Favorite food. Does she not know? Does she not know? Seriously, Claire? Sushi. That's yours. Tacos. Uh, uh, whiskey. Night Owl. Go Holly. That's right, Ed Sheeran. That's my girl. Harry Potter. She's unstoppable. McDonald's. You didn't get a single question wrong, Holly. Well, I think it's clear who our winner is tonight. That's right. That is right. Holly. I'm impressed. You should be. How was she not on the floor? She had to drink a lot. Sorry, Claire, can't say I didn't warn you. So you answer a few questions and you think you're better than me? Did I say that? Sounds like someone's a little insecure. Me insecure? I've been nominated for Oscars. Did you win? I've been on the cover of Vogue. I party with people who have toilets that are worth more than your pathetic life. I should say something. I love how we get to control him. Step in. Clear enough. Leave Holly alone. Shut up, Noel. Claire, you are drunk and you need to stop talking. Why? Are you afraid I'm going to say something you don't like? There's nothing you can say that'll hurt my feelings. Really? Do you think you're so special just because you were Noel's first? You may have been his first, but believe me, honey, you most definitely were not his best. It was pretty easy to blow his mind after he's been with you. Um... She did not just go there. I mean, to be quite honest, I'm just kind of like, okay, girl, like that's the best you had. That's it. I know a girl's like shook and offended, but Holly, take her down. Miranda, take her down. Finish her, Mur. Listen here, you little brat. If you actually think that Noah thinks you're better than Holly, I really feel bad for you then. It must be her constantly living in an ex's shadow, huh? I do not. That's probably why Noel has always been so hesitant to publicly confirm your relationship. Oh yeah, I forgot. He don't even, you have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but I do. Now I'll leave. You're no longer welcome at this party. I'm not leaving. I'm staying right where I am. Claire, enough. We need to talk. Let's go find somewhere private. Break up with her. Fine, I'll go. Ta-ta. And never come back again, which hopefully a house lands on her. After Miranda confronted Claire, I snuck off to the guest room to get some time alone. I wasn't sad about what Claire said. It didn't hurt my feelings or make me insecure. That wasn't what hurt me. What hurt was when I realized when she said it. Noel and I were each other's first everything. First kiss, first love, first, you know. 
For a long time, it wasn't just first, though. Back then, he was my only and I was his. And now it hit me. I was no longer the only girl who knew him in that way. I mean, what did I expect a rock star to live a life of celibacy? In your dreams, Holly. Poor Holly. Oh, okay, so Noel's here. I have to say, though, I'm happy that Noel, like, defended her. I would have been salty if he said nothing. You keep having to apologize. It's... Every time I see you, you're apologizing for something. It's because I keep messing up. To be honest, it wasn't your fault. I'll give him that. That was Claire. Please just hear me out. That night, I said some awful things I still haven't forgiven myself for. But you did too. I know I did. I regret it every day. Can we please try to be friends? Why does it matter? You'll be leaving soon anyways. I want you back in my life halls. I've missed you every single day for the last three years. Uh, did you ever miss me too? You ain't playing me episode. No, I haven't. Why did I lie to him? Why did I continue to lie to myself when I knew how I really felt? Oh, I see. Regardless, I can't be your friend if you're dating her. I don't want to be around her. And honestly, you being with her makes me question your character. I can't be friends with someone if their heart isn't true. I understand. And Holly, what she said isn't true. Nobody, not even she, could compare it to you. Then, then why are you with her? He seems, okay, drama aside, he seems like a decent person. And he has a good head on his shoulders. Well, kind of, I don't know if he has a good head on his shoulders, but he has a good heart. And why would he be with this? Break up with her. Go off. Seriously, no. What's your problem? Are you really that mad I didn't get the answers right? You seriously think that's why I'm upset? How am I supposed to know when you won't speak to me? Here are some reasons for you. You were rude to my friends, you insulted my mother, and you came here uninvited. But the last straw was what you pulled with Holly. You're mad at me because I got in a fight with your ex? She's not just an ex, Claire. She's the best person I know and I could never tolerate someone being so awful towards her. Maybe you should still be dating her then. You know? <gasps> oh, I think you're right. What? This is over. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Only a couple chapters in the story too. This is already getting lit. I mean, the story's been lit, but... This happened so soon, I'm living. Good. Everyone warned me about you when I didn't listen. But I'm listening now. You're breaking up with me? Oh, hell yes. Yeah, but you can sleep in the guest room tonight and tomorrow I'll escort you to the airport. You're gonna regret this. The only thing I regret is not doing it sooner. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And now I do something I should have done a long time ago. Is he gonna run over to Holly's? Oh, boys. Oh my gosh, what's he gonna do? Coming, who could possibly be at my door this time? Someone who you know what? Holly, even though exes are exes for a reason, sometimes things happen and y'all should talk about certain things. See where things go. See if we can start over a little bit if you're new people. She gonna be so hype. Holly, is everything okay? I need to apologize for how Claire treated you. I couldn't stand to see her speak to you like that. Now I realize the kind of person that she is, so I'm sorry. Cool, thanks for the apology. Now why don't you go back to tending to your hotshot Hollywood girlfriend? Holly, I broke up with Claire. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that considering you were just at the party together. I'm sorry about that. It's cooled out, would you like to come in for some hot cocoa? I'd love to. And now they're going inside. Okay. The kettle's on. The hot cocoa should be ready soon. I'm happy to see that you still go all out for Christmas decorations here. You know me. By the way, I'm sorry about Claire. Please don't be. It took a bit, but I realized that Claire's not the one I'm meant to be with. Especially not when she treats people who are important to me like dirt. I suppose that is a good indicator. Okay, but really, Holly, I'm not only sorry for how Claire treated you at the party, but for ever bringing her into this town in the first place. I might be feeling the Christmas spirit tonight. Fine, you're forgiven. Why, thank you. I'm so honored. Wait, look. It's snowing. What? Holly, come look. This is the first big snow of the year. I can feel it. 
hmm, was right. The way the snow is falling, it's going to be a winter wonderland by midnight. Well, now we have to go sledding. Sledding? It's our tradition to go sledding at the first big snow wind. Remember, we'd sneak into the, our favorite hills at Lake Psychology at the peak of midnight. They always did have the best hills there. And we have we can experience them together again tonight. It's all on me. This is my apology to you. Well, the stars do shine brightest from those hills. The midnight stars guiding our way to Lakeside. The two of us bundled up in matching winter attire. Oh, they're going to their little winter wonderland. Well, are you going to pay for it and all? Because if not, uh, are you going to sleep? If Noel ain't opening his sieve up, I thought Noel was treating. No, you know, and I could use a little space to process everything that happened today. Sure. Oh, and one last thing. You won't ever have to worry about Claire again. I promise. That's a relief. Good night, Noel. Good night, Holly. Okay. Nobody breaks up with Claire Ronaldo and gets away with it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, who are you going to call? Yes, hello. I'm calling because I've just learned about some very shocking news about Noel Evans and Holly Streck. Oh, no. Claire called the paparazzi. Whatever will we do? What is she going to do? What shocking news is she going to... You see, here's where it's going to go wrong for her. Is when she's trying to be rotten like this, she's gonna get exposed it's all gonna come back that she made up a lie and then everyone is gonna look at her and see her for the witch you know what I, that's mean i should not disrespect witches like that for the awful person that she is and it's all gonna backfire and i can't wait for it to happen she deserves it she does but we have holly and noel having little moments together what do you guys think do you think that she get back together or do you think they should stay exes let me know in the comments below and of course before we go the shout outs a special shout out to that so 972 it's ka and flora fernandez thank you so much for your love and support it means the absolute world to me i am so sorry if i messed up anybody's names but thank you so much thank you to everyone of course i hope you had a fabulous day and i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much again everyone Bye.